Hi, I'm Pastor Susan, and welcome to our Wednesday QT. Today, the passage that we will be reading for our quiet time is James chapter 2, verses 14 through 17. So please open your Bibles to James 2, verses 14 through 17, and read over the passage a couple of times, meditate on it, and make a tangible, uh, practical application, and then we'll come back afterwards. So in this passage, James continues to talk about the relationship between our faith and our works. And in verse 14, James says, What good is it if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? And then in 17, he says, Faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. And so you might be asking, but Pastor Susan, I thought that you preached a couple weeks ago that we are saved by faith alone and that there's nothing else that we can do, that there are no works that will lead us to salvation. It is only by God's grace, right? Yes, we are saved by our faith alone. And so what is James talking about here? What does it mean that faith by itself is dead without works? Pastor Alex shared a message on this last Sunday too, but this is a good reminder. Um, here, James is saying that our faith, if it is real, it'll show in our actions. And so he is not saying that we need works in order to be saved, but if we have faith and if we are saved, then it'll be shown in the way we live. And so I have a quick demonstration for us. Let's say that Pastor Peter brought me this chair. And he says, Pastor Susan, I noticed that you've been standing for a long time. You must be tired. Why don't you sit in this chair? And I'm like, oh, Pastor Peter, thank you. And I would be sitting in this chair only if, number one, I have faith that this chair is strong enough to hold my weight. And number two, um, if I have faith in Pastor Peter that he will not troll me by bringing me a broken chair. Right? And because I have faith in those two things, I will sit in this chair and be at peace. And so me sitting in this chair is showing that I have faith that this chair will hold me up and that Pastor Peter will not troll me by bringing me a broken chair. But if I have even the slightest doubt that this chair could be broken, then do you think I would sit in this chair? Probably not. If I have the slightest doubt that Pastor Peter could be trolling me, then I will not sit in it. I, I could say all that I want. Oh, Pastor Peter, I have faith in you. I believe you. But if I don't sit in the chair, then that just shows that I actually don't believe it, that I don't have faith in him. And so here, James is saying, we can say all we want that we're Christian, but our faith will be demonstrated. It'll be manifested in our works. If you say you have faith, but your faith is not followed by your actions, it is no faith at all. So I pray that we may not just be all talk, but that we may really live out our faith through our actions. And so as my application today, what I'm going to do is once I go back home, I'm going to be looking around my house to find some more items that I can donate to the option that we're going to have in a couple weeks. And all the funds we raise from this auction uh, will be going towards helping our neighbors in the city of Anaheim. There are a lot of people around us, um, homeless people and at-risk youth, uh, students just like you guys and children that are in need. And so what we want to do is uh, not just say to them, God loves you and he is with you, he is real, but we want to show God's love and show God's goodness by uh, providing for their needs in a tangible way. And so I wanna invite you to do the same as well and think of specific ways, really practical ways to apply the word in our lives and to live out our faith today. That is it for today. We will see you next time.